move this this way. Hello, everybody. Uh, how was I calling this before? Uh, Advent. Hello. Hi, Mateus. Hi, Tuller. Hello, Anna. How are you? So it's Advent. Advent what? Live stream. Advent live stream. Uh, day? What day is it today? Is today the 5th? I think it is. Oops. Yes. Day 5. All right, so as usual, we can talk. If, uh, let me know if you want. Good evening, Anna. How are you? How was your day? Uh, tell us. Did you have a good day today? Hello, Gabe. Use this time to practice a little bit. You can write something short, okay? Yes. Hello, Andre Andrea. I don't know how to say your name. Andrea or Andrea? Andrea, probably. Juliano, hello. So, how are you today? Good. Hello, Rafael, how are you? <laughs> I don't know. Today, you're still alive. It's good to hear that, Anna. Very nice. Yeah, today, Andrea. Okay, Andrea. Uh, yeah, today is Wednesday. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost there on the weekend. What are your plans for the weekend? What will you do? Hello, Alessandri. How are you? Another um, with Italian ascendancy here. Uh, Pierotto. Alexandre Pierotto, you're fine? Hi, Rafael, good to, good to hear, good to read that. Because I'm not, uh, we can remember that we can talk, okay? Remember to send me an invitation if you want to have a chat here. Don't be afraid, don't be shy. Hello, Mari or Mary. And uh, actually, if you do not want to talk to me, <laughs> what I will talk about is about this fear of speaking, okay? Because I'm going to explain something. Uh, so, I record videos every day and now I am uh, answering questions people ask me. Uh, every day there is, you know, people ask me questions every day and uh, I think it's nice to um, answer these questions uh, in videos because then other people can can watch uh, them and maybe feel inspired, right? So today what happened is that I answered a question from a follower on another account, uh, my language learning account, Polyglot Erica. Her name is Jenny and she told me she's Swedish and she has just moved to Poland. But she doesn't know how to speak Polish she knows a little bit of Serbo-Croatian, which I'm not, I think it's similar to Polish. It's, you know, it's like Portuguese and Italian or Portuguese and French. So she can recognize and understand many words, but uh, she cannot talk back. She has a hard time answering people, replying to people. She can understand them but she cannot uh, say much. I don't, f I don't know if you guys feel this way. Um, in class, you probably have English classes, right? With someone. How often do you speak English? Hello, Lieber. Good to see you here. Iman, hello. How often do you speak English? Uh, and do you feel this way? Do you feel stuck? Do you feel that you cannot, you only remember the answer hours later. 
Hello, Katya. Yeah, this is this is common, especially in the beginning. But if you are a beginner, uh, pre-intermediate, something like that. Hello, Braga. Oh, hello, Braga. Hello, Lily. Lily, we need to talk. I want to talk to you. Lily, tell me. Do you feel it's hard for you to talk to people now that you are... Hello, Everton. Now that you are in the US, do you feel it's hard to talk to people? Do you feel... Do you? How much do you understand them? And uh, how fast can you answer people? And... Is it a struggle? Do you feel stuck? How do you feel? It would be a nice... Uh... Everton. Is it you? Good follower. The network was better, it's okay. I added someone here. I don't know if Everton will want to... No. Uh, and you're normal. So, this, uh, uh, hello Josie, how are you? Vinny, hello, good to see you here. Uh, so, Jenny, again, three years, Vanderson. In my case, I need to practice more, I mean, talking more, listening, I can talk, this is not a problem, but I need to get more vocabulary, yes. Yeah, probably, uh, Vanderson, you are at the... Uh, I don't know, maybe intermediate stage, and you want to... Good, Josie, thank you. Uh, and you, what you need to do now is to expand your vocabulary to be able... Okay, Josie. To be able to communicate. Josie, you're not here. Josie, I cannot see you here. Can you send me an invite? Because, let's see, in, go live. Okay, let's try this way. 30 minutes, 30 minutes what? Per day. Your English is really good. My oh my God, I smell. Hello, hello, <laughs> thank you, hello guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so tired back from job. I'm a little tired myself. It was a very long day. <laughs> yes, oh my God. So I'm so sorry, but I I start right now. I'm not sure what you, you guys talking about it, but uh, what you are talking about it. Yeah, I just started here, just waiting for someone to join, but uh, I was talking about this difficulty people have is speaking to other people, yeah, speaking, yeah. the speaking problem, especially if you are a beginner or early, you know, pre-intermediate. Um, do you remember, Josie, that part of your, <laughs> of your learning process when, uh, how did you start speaking? What happened? How, how did you? Oh, I, my first experience with uh, English. Um, time ago, I was living in Ouro Preto and uh -huh. I, I worked, I was working at the shop, uh, um, sell some jewelers and uh -huh. then I, uh, some girls work with me speaking fluent English and then I thought, oh my God, I need to start learning English or okay. no will selling nothing, okay? And then after that, I, I start to look for some school and something like mm -hmm. that. Uh, I studied university, well, but in this time, I just um, uh, learned some word for sell, some jewelers. And then uh -huh. when I finish university, I start, I start um, learning English. And uh -huh. then uh, my process a little bit slow, but uh, when I, I had some experience out of Brazil, I understood that oh, I'm not speaking English. 
Ah, ok. <laughs> because, yes, because it's a lot of people speaking English, a lot of, of people, you know, it's a little bit crazy in my mind. But right uh -huh. now, this process is hard to me, but right nowadays, I work with English like in the company that I am working right now. I need to do a lot of things in English. I need mm -hmm. to read in English. I need to send some emails in English. Also, but when I am on the call, I uh -huh. can't understand 100%, you know? Yeah, but, but do you understand the main idea, the message? Because <laughs> that's important, yeah. right? Yes, and then when I started the, the summer class with Newton, uh -huh. uh, he told me that, uh, Josie, you, you can get the idea, but of course you, sometimes, sometimes I know that I, I, I have some mistakes, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, um, because communication is, has mostly to do with connecting. But if you are in a work environment, you should uh, try to understand more to make sure, to make sure that you got the message right, right? Understand what you need to do exactly and uh, avoid misunderstandings. So if you are at work, it's very important to improve, <laughs> improve Uh, the knowledge of the language, right? Improve your English and be able to speak clearly. Again, this has nothing to do with accent. It has to do with speaking clearly so other people can understand you. And it involves not just pronunciation, but also, uh, you know, building the sentences in the order that people expect you to. Right, because uh, if you change the order of the words in your head, it makes sense. But for a person who knows the grammar better, it doesn't make sense and it may cause some misunderstandings. But uh, I think um, the important thing is to keep practicing. It's what you're doing, you're practicing. It doesn't matter if it's slow or if it's, you know, the speed doesn't matter much. What matters is focus on the present, on what you're doing now, pay attention, try to pay attention while you're studying. I tell, we tell our students all the time this because sometimes we spend hours, I don't know, studying, doing grammar exercises, reading, listening. But sometimes we are not really paying attention because we're tired or something else. So we cannot expect to learn that much. Oh, I spent three hours. If, if you're tired, if, you have, if you're thinking about other problems and things like that, you cannot expect to learn that much, right? You will learn something because it's better than nothing. So I always also tell people to do something, doesn't matter how you feel. I agree with you, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, because ideally, we should be rested, etc., etc. But we all know everybody, you know, people work a lot, many hours a day, we feel tired. Um, our students are adults, they work a lot. And we completely understand that. Uh, it's hard to find time to study, especially when we are not tired, right? But the important yes. thing is to continue, And yeah. Yeah, and I can see right now two friends that work with me. Demetrius, oh, yes. he works with <laughs> me. And Hi, the Alessandra, Alessandra also works with me. And then, Hi, guys, hello, guys. <laughs> She's the, the, best, uh, the best teacher. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Do they speak English, too? Yes. The, they, they do everybody, English. right? Yes. Everybody, yeah. Yes, we yep. work in America company, and uh, then we need to speak English all the time, and we need to send some emails, you know. A oh, nice class. I think so, too, the metrics. <laughs> and it's free, but she and... Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice class. 
Yeah, no, I will do this every day until this is the Advent live stream. So don't feel shy. Yeah, don't feel shy. We can talk here. We can, you can practice. Uh, yeah, but I have, uh, I have one doubt because, hmm. uh, you know, uh, I will back to class with Nilto or you. I will see because now I, I, I finish my post graduation and then yeah. I will back with you or, or Nilton. And but I would like to know, I, I would like to understand better. Um, I know that he, I, I, I try to follow you on um, some, some lives. And then I know that uh, uh, every class you take some subject, you take some article or something like that. And I, I would like to, 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 to understand better about how can I, let me see, how can I talk about it? Um, because nowadays I, I just, I try to, to, to think in English, of course, all the mm -hmm. time. But I try also to uh, start read something that no have a relation with my job. Okay. Because okay. when you feel confidence with the language, I think, or you can talk about another subject, is bad. Because, yes. for example, if you start some, some subject, about um, Trump, for example, you know. About Trump? Example, eh, Trump. I know that um, Newton likes Newton like to talk about a lot of things, you know, Trump, or maybe Jair yeah. Bolsonaro right now, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I'd like to know what is the, 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 if I can do some plan for 2019, if I can mm -hmm. start, for example, I will take three class per week, okay? And then okay. if I can do some plan with start things that don't have some relation with my job. No, yeah, I don't know if I understand the question, but planning is, is always good. <laughs> planning is always, always good. So I... Always recommend that you do that, and then that you start thinking ahead. What do you want to do? What do you feel like doing now? At this point, if you like uh, doing uh, using uh, materials that have n don't have much to do with your job, for example, let's say, right? Of course, you should do that. Actually, I think you really should do that because w uh, focusing on just one topic can be very limiting, right? You're not going to talk. Uh, to use the vocabulary, the jargon of your job when in other situations, in other contexts in your yeah, life. I agree. I agree. Uh, to be, yeah, to be more prepared, you should try to expand the range of topics, subjects, etc. Of course, uh, uh, we tell students to choose um, subjects or topics that they have interest in. Because if you are interested in something, it uh, yeah. increases the chances that you will continue practicing, right? Will continue studying. This is important. Uh, so you should choose, for example, I don't like everything, all the topics. And I tend, I have a tendency to choose certain topics. And, uh, but I know it's important to... Uh, for me, I, I think it's uh, easy because the students, they, because they choose the different topics and we talk about them in class. It's good for yeah. me because I end up learning a lot. I actually, I love that. But um, yeah, don't feel uh, so worried about that. But for example, podcasts, that's what we tell people to do, yeah. to use, right? Do you listen to podcasts? Yeah, a lot. A yes. lot. Which ones do you listen to? In English, uh, right? Yeah, in English, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I also, the, um, Newton sent to me some, some link, podcast about Melhor Seu Inglês. Yeah, uh, do we have a podcast? 
Yes, when I I have some opportunity, I listen to this. Yeah. Yeah, our podcast is uh, more connected with grammar. We teach uh, grammar, vocabulary, idioms, things like that. But there are many podcasts uh, that are not um, aim, that, uh, they don't aim at teaching English. <laughs> They're like um, yeah. podcasts about, I don't know, politics, about um, politics. Um, current issues and uh, literature and things like that in English. So in this case, we tell the students to choose something that they like. So many students, uh, some examples, they choose uh, podcasts related to engineering, to uh, lean management and uh, yes, journalism. Lean. Sorry? Yeah, lean management, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, there are uh, podcasts focused on that topic. And, uh, you know, all kinds of different topics. So... Uh, I would suggest podcasts, podcasts that have transcripts, right? Because it's, I think the best thing you can do is to work with the audio and the text. That's why there are so many courses out there based on this model of the recording and the text. Uh, so there are many uh, places where you can find uh, these materials songs songs right they are audio and text and the lyrics you can do that with songs too songs are actually very good because of the melody the prosody the connection between the words and it's it's great but um there are all kinds yeah podcasts where you have an interview where you have for example you have ted talks in ted talks you have a higher level of vocabulary right, of structures. I just, uh, I taught a class, I gave a class now to a student, Pedro, uh, and uh, he, that's what he does. He, he does everything and he chooses the podcasts and the material he's going to listen and work with. And uh, for example, today he, and then he listens before the class and in the class it tells me, right, the uh, The, what it was about. So today he told me about, well, some suggestions for you. There is All Years English. It's a podcast. Uh, this is made by two. Ted is amazing. Yeah? All Years English is great too. Um, it's hosted by two, three American teachers. Yes. And mm. uh, it's very good. And they have posts. They don't have, they don't um, provide as the, the transcript, but they make posts. They upload posts, and it's very good. So he told me about one of those posts, uh, VOA News. VOA News Vo is wonderful. Yeah, well, I, I, I know. It's, it's amazing. It's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, Because you have the recording and the transcript, right? Let, let, me, let me say one thing. Have more three friends that I can see Valeria. All our friends are here. <laughs> yeah, I can see Sabrina. I can uh -huh. see, let me see, Marília Inafuku. She's from São Paulo. Maybe oh, nice. let me ask for them if they uh -huh. want to talk to you. Oh, And sure, yeah. Yes. Maybe I, uh, I can give to them opportunities to talk because yeah. really it's very nice uh, yeah. when... We have some opportunity to talk in English, especially when you are talk with the uh, the teacher, yeah, <laughs> because uh, uh, it can you, help us a lot. Yeah, it helps a lot. And uh, before you leave, uh, what advice would you give someone who can't speak English yet? What would you tell someone who is afraid to speak? Mm -hmm. Well, I can say that sometimes when I, 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 I talk with someone that is foreign or something like that, I all the time I say, I am learning English. So, speak slowly, please. Excellent. What do you mean? 
I yes. don't want the stand up here good. You uh -huh. know? But guys, please don't be afraid because you know the things happen natural, I think. Right yes. now I I don't think in Portuguese. I am thinking English because mm -hmm. of course I am so tired right now. <laughs> but I am trying to keep my focus in conversation. And then I can understand 90% of all that you said. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. because uh, you speak very clear, you speak very, you know, uh, it's, comfortable, it's comfortable to me listen mm -hmm. what you are saying. <laughs> but I am focused in this. And then uh -huh. for speaking, I think it's the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, like you said before, uh, you need to uh, construction the build the construction. Yeah, I can build, use build this the expression. I build the sentences. Build, build the sentences. Build the sentence exactly. Yeah. Oops. There is a, well, Jose is frozen here. But what she's saying uh, makes sense, right? Don't feel afraid, don't be afraid. Uh, and what's this? Why do we understand better foreign English than the native? Foreign than native speakers. I, I think you can hear, but okay, she left. See you next time, Josie. So Anna is asking here why we understand foreign English speakers. Because we tend to speak slower. We tend to speak um, in a clearer way because it's not so natural to us. Um, because if you consider Portuguese, right? When we're speaking Portuguese, we don't care. <laughs> we speak super fast. It's the same. We are used to speaking Portuguese and native speakers are used to speaking their languages. So it's not just English, of course, any native speaker. Imagine a person who, has, who is an adult and has spent his or her own li uh, whole life speaking that same language. Uh, it becomes very uh, natural and, uh, you know, you don't think about it anymore. And then you start to... Uh, or either you speak very fast because sometimes you don't, don't say some words because the other person understands what you're saying. You don't need to say all the words. You don't need to say the words, the you know, all the words so clearly because the other person can understand you. So if you if you uh, contract, if you make a lot of contractions, the other person will understand you because the other person speaks in the same way, right? So native people, they tend to speak in a, in a faster way. I think when I listen to podcasts, I see this difference. Uh, for example, the teachers, they tend to speak in a slower, um, at a slower speed and in a very clear way. And when I listen to uh, people talking to, about something else, that is not connected to teaching the language, then it depends on the speaker. It depends. It's a very individual thing. It's not, you cannot say that a whole population speak in the same way, right? You can talk about tendencies. There is a tendency for this to happen. And, but anyway, the, the more you get used, you get exposed to that way of speaking, the more familiarized it will be, become to you. It will be for you. So um, maybe we, this is a shock that we have in the beginning. Like Jose said, that she uh, started learning English here in Brazil, and then she spent some time abroad, and then she realized, oh, I don't know how to speak English. Of course she knows, and you, you could see her speaking English here. But it's a shock because um, of many things, ju not just the speed, but many other things that we do with the language that are different, right? 
And it, this is more advanced, simply more advanced. Uh, you cannot expect as a beginner to be able to understand a native speaker speaking at normal speed. You know, it's too much. Again, we come back to the matter of expectations. I was talking, I, I talked a little bit about it yesterday. It is very important to understand what kind of expectations you have towards your goals, you know, your, your um, learning, uh, your English practice. Because a lot of times our expectations are totally unrealistic. They're not realistic at all, you know. So um, if you change that uh, frame of mind, that's how I call it, the frame, the way you see it, the frame, your, your perspective, if you know how to deal with that, your life will become much better. You will feel less anxious, less frustrated. Uh, you will criticize yourself less because other people are not criticizing you. It's you criticizing yourself. This is not helpful because if you beat yourself up all the time, you will not uh, move forward, right? You're just putting the, that barrier in front of you when you do that. So that's an exercise I would recommend. I would uh, recommend that you do today <laughs> or the next few days. Review your expectations towards uh, English. For example, a person who works all day long and have many students in this situation, they work many, many hours every day. Some, some of them work on weekends. They cannot expect to be able to, you know, move on as fast as a person who doesn't have a job, is at home and has a student, for example, and is in a very intelligent way, using the time in a very intelligent way to learn a language, right? Uh, the other day was I was listening to a podcast. I forgot the name of the guy. He's older. He's a teacher. He's a linguistics teacher. He's in his 60s, mid-60s, and he's a polyglot. He knows more than, I, I don't know, like Julia uh, or Julia yesterday, around 40 languages. He's traveled all over the world. He's lived in different countries. And uh, he was talking about that a little bit, about uh, expectations and about uh, the difference uh, between uh, learning a language, uh, living in the country and not living in the country makes a huge difference too. And actually what I was, I remember now what I was going to say, he says that uh, he learned Polish, but he lived in Poland. And while he was living there, he studied Polish for five hours every day. And uh, I, don't, uh, I don't spend five hours. I spend around two hours every day. I think less. I was, the other day, I was uh, trying to, to figure out how much time I spend learning languages. It's one hour for Polish, one hour and a half, 30 minutes for all other languages. And he spent like five hours every day for two years. It's not, you know, who of you can find five hours every day to study? It's, it's not easy uh, because we all need to work. We need to work. We need to take care of the family. We have a lot of other things we need to, we need to do. So it's not realistic to expect that a person who doesn't have five hours will learn as fast or faster than a person who has five hours to learn, you know? And again, you shouldn't beat yourself up because, because this is your life situation now. Accept this if you want to change it. Make a plan to change it. If you cannot change it, uh, try to find the best way right, to profit of the time you have. Uh, and uh, something that I tell my students also, we tell our students is that sometimes you don't need, well, uh, five hours would be great, but we don't have five hours. So I tell the students to study five minutes every day because it's better to study five minutes every day than to study five hours once a week or once a month once a year, 
or not to study at all. And many people simply, they stop studying completely. Uh, this will not take you very far if you stop studying. Definitely not. So uh, what, I, uh, what we say, what I do also is when I feel I have too much on my plate, I am spreading myself thin, I am, uh, I'm taking on too many responsibilities, I try to decrease planning, always planning, planning, planning. I try to decrease the period, the amount of time I spend with certain activities. I try to make them easier. So the tip here would be to do that, to make those tasks shorter and easier. Shorter and easier. I think people ask it some questions here. I'm going to scroll back to the top. There are so many things here. Let's see. And if you have other questions. Uh, okay, Lily, I don't know if she's still here. So, yeah, Van der Son is a, uh, listening and reading is probably the, these are the easiest skills, right? They are more passive than writing and speaking. Uh, but it's the basis for writing and speaking. So you need to keep doing that. Nice. Uh, labor. I, I am often taking 30 minutes per day, from Monday to Friday on Cambly. Yes. Yes. If it's 30 minutes every day, even if it's from Monday to Friday, it's fine. It's excellent. Because we need to remember stuff. And if we skip, start skipping days, you we will forget. We forget. You will forget. Look to you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Lily is still here, but her English is great. It is. It is really good. I'm very happy for you, Lily, that you you were able to. Uh, this is a dream, right? So let's see here, Josie again. Your co-workers didn't want to join, Josie. Oh, let's see. I'm going backwards now. <laughs> How many languages can you speak? So I, I know um, more, around more, seven languages. I know Portuguese, counting with Portuguese, Portuguese, English, Spanish, Italian, French, German, and Polish. It means I can understand all these seven languages, no problem. Uh, I can read this. Now I can, it didn't work, Josie, it's a, do you want me to try again? Let's try again, I don't know. But I can speak English because I've spent my whole life speaking this language and practicing and you're back, some <laughs> coffee. <laughs> my, my battery, you know, I'm so I sorry. Yes, but I am oh, back again. Oh, Lily. Josie, can I, can I talk to Lily? I think she's here. She can tell us a little bit about her experience. Yeah, yeah? sure. Sure, sure, yeah? sure. Let's, let's try. I don't, oops, it's not here. I don't know if she can talk now. Let's see. Uh, so, English. Spanish, <laughs> I recorded. If you take a look at my YouTube channel, hello, Lily, you're here. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi. <like> Hi. <laughs> How long have you been there? Uh, almost two months. Already? Yeah. And how do you like it? I love it. <laughs> it's very different about everything I lived before. Uh -huh. It's completely different. <laughs> Lily, did you feel this shock? Uh, did you feel that, oh my God, my, I don't know any English because people <laughs> speak fast or no? No, oh. like this, but sometimes depend depends um, 
who I talk because my first week was a shock. Hmm. Uh, when you look, you listen English, English all the time. So, mm -hmm. hey, I need Portuguese, please, please, please. But <laughs> was okay. So my first week I was in a hotel because I'm I'm here uh, because the exchange exchange program. Yeah, exchange. Uh huh. Exchange exchange program. <laughs> Yeah. So my first week I was in a hotel and all the time was English. Every place, everywhere, totally English. Uh -huh. So my mind closed sometimes and just, I, I can't receive more any word in English. Uh -huh. Please, God, help me. <laughs> But now it's okay. I can talk with, with people. I can talk with my family here. When I go outside, I can talk. I can take a metro. I... I I think I'm metro alone. I go to the supermarket. It's okay. Did it? I, I, I just call the pronouns. I, sorry? Sometimes the pronouns is difficult for me. Uh -huh. And my first week, I had some problems with my host dad here because he speaks so fast and uh -huh. his voice is so uh, like this. So. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Can you repeat, please? <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, are there people Brazilians or people who speak Portuguese near you do you have contact with people who speak Portuguese or no there no in my oh. home no this just in English totally English yes <laughs> yes this but is uh, close my home mm -hmm. I, I met some girls Brazilian girls last week mm -hmm. I met some girls but Every day I, I, I have contact with English people. Oh, just yes. yes, because this is very important. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we tend, because you are in a big city, right? No, I'm in College Park in Maryland. Um, I live close to Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. It's very cold here. Yeah. And it, it looks like a Cidade de Interior. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because in, in big cities we tend to meet uh, more uh, people who speak our language, right? Because of, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but yeah, use the opportunity to speak as much English as you can all the time, all the time. And uh, uh, what... When we go to the... When I go to the sea, I see different countries every place. When I go, I listen to people talking Portuguese, Spanish, many Spanish people here. Uh, I listen to Mexican, Colombian. It, it, you see a lot here. Uh huh. And uh, what do, what are some things that you like there in this uh, experience? What are some of the good things? So. I, I have contact with people and I see people is very polite here. Mm -hmm. So much. I am impressed all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, yesterday I I try to uh, solve my problems in, with my bank account uh -huh. and I call it. I say, oh my goodness, please help me. I don't know if I will, if I can do it. So <laughs> the woman <laughs> helped me and she told me, your English is very well. It's cold. Thank you. I love you so much. <laughs> she she told me, oh, but I'm your friend. I can help you every time. When I go to the supermarket, when I go to the restaurant, people say, hi, how are you? How's your how's your day today? You look so, what? <laughs> really? well, people that... like talk about life. What are you doing? What was your day? It's different. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if it's because it's a smaller town, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It could be. Mm -hmm. Have you when been... I go Go ahead. When I was when I was in DC, uh -huh. it uh, I feel the same. Is is a little different. But I, I feel the same. When I when I ate, uh -huh. so one woman there was talking with me and asked me about my life. <laughs> And many information about my life. I say what? Okay, no problem. <laughs> But in New York, it's different. It's crazy yeah. there. Yeah. Ah, so you've Very been crazy. to New York. Mm -hmm. Ah, and what do I you think? I New York. In my first week, I was in New York. 
Ah, okay. And how was, what do you think about uh, the city there? My city here? New York. Uh, because you've ah. been to DC, to New York. How yeah, it's completely crazy. The traffic, traffic people and traffic car, it's mm -hmm. crazy. People don't respect. It is, I don't know. I, I, I didn't like it there. <laughs> yeah, it's very crazy. I saw, yeah, I saw the Times Square. I saw the the statue of Liberty. Liberty, yes. Yeah. Statue of Liberty. Liberty. But, yes, I, I just saw a few moments, but I, I didn't like it. Time is, specifically, Times Square is crazy. It's good because you can you want to see it's famous place, everyone won't go there, but it's totally crazy. <laughs> People don't stop just walking, walking, run, 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 every place. <laughs> okay, so, I prefer here. So you hmm? after two months, you now you feel more comfortable with your English, right? Because you know people mm -hmm. can understand you and yeah. They're actually complimenting your English. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I feel better. It's not uh, 100%, mm -hmm. but I feel better. I feel more comf comfortable to talk. Sometimes uh, I start explaining something for mm -hmm. my family here, uh -huh. and uh, I stop it and say, what am I telling? <laughs> Name me can understand me, so I say, Wait a moment, I need to use the Google translation. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and, uh, Lily, what, what uh, uh, advice, what advice would you give someone who hasn't started speaking yet, uh, who feels shy, is afraid of speaking? What mm. would you tell this person? Oh, in first moment, I think it's very normal you feel that. And um, if you never look at uh, you using, look like uh, you see you in a mirror and start talk, or when you start talk with someone you don't saw before, you you feel to feel like frozen. You start talk like, uh, 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 but it's okay. <laughs> you just need to relax and try. Don't be share and. Uh, Every time you, you, you say uh, wrong pronouns, it's normal. If you don't say, you, you will never learn it. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. My, my, uh -huh. dad, my dad here, uh, when I start talking with him, he correct me. So he say, can I correct you? I say, of course, please. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm t I'm speaking wrong, so help me. Uh -huh. And then my family is so helpful. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, because I always forget time flies. And uh, we had classes this year, right? Mm -hmm. This year. My God, it, it's been uh, like nine months, I think, right? In the beginning of the year, right? It was in March, February. My dad. Mm hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, he felt he felt bad, and I I took him to the hospital. I know you're talking and about the... your dad, your dad, right? Your father. Yeah, you're talking about me. No, I was talking about the classes that we had ah. in the beginning. Oh, of... yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. I'm sorry, I understand a different thing, <laughs> but okay. No, yeah, no, I, I'm just uh, because uh, this time is very. Sh it's been nine months since we had these classes, and remember how you practiced in the beginning with recording mm -hmm. videos. Mm -hmm. Like I told you yeah. to record videos, I recorded the videos. And your I remember your videos because they were very cool, very, very nice. Mm -hmm. and, and it's nice you can watch them. They are in your account, right? Mm-hmm. And I need to tell someone is here learning with my uh, Melhor English. If you is learning with that guys, you need to do the activities, you need to learn a book, you need to record videos because it's helpful, so helpful. I'm here, I'm telling you, it, it, it helped me. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. You're, you're, it's very different because it's very different now and uh, nine months ago. It's, it's so cool. It's very nice. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, but you did the, the work, right, Lily? You, I remember that you studied a lot, you practiced a lot, and there is something that I've been telling the students. It's important to have this emotional connection that you have, mm -hmm. always have. Mm -hmm. I, I always felt that in you, this emotional connection, this involvement with the pleasure, right? Uh, when you record mm -hmm. the videos, I remember showing your house, showing your family, showing the beach, uh, mm -hmm. It was, we could see that. Yeah, you, we needed to be creative. Yeah, <laughs> you were very creative, and we could see that you were enjoying it a lot. So, uh, making it fun is important, right? Mm -hmm. Don't you think it is important? Yeah. I, I mean, try to uh, start every day like I did before because mm -hmm. it's important. For me now, uh -huh. it, it, now this moment, I need to study again. So I will tell you guys, uh -huh. if you have a plan or if you have a dream and you want to learn English or if you want travels, you need to practice. It's important. Yes. I'm telling you it because yes, it's in me. <laughs> yeah. And another thing, you are in the United States now, but you mm -hmm. are studying. You are studying, right? You mm -hmm. didn't stop. You are yeah, now. I'm, I'm working this moment. I started yeah. working, so I will looking for some college community mm -hmm. here, and I will start learning English. And uh, today I received my computer, and I will start uh, learning again. Yeah. The last question you did for me, I will start again. And I will read some web website you sent for me. I don't yeah. forget that. <laughs> No, but hello, Valdeci. But uh, I mean, just doing the same things like uh, watching TV shows, uh, they are mm -hmm. complimenting mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Your English is good. Uh, oh, watching that, TV shows, watching, watching movies, right? Um, mm -hmm. th this is practice, too. This is practice, too. Do you know, do you know what uh, I, I feel here? Mm. When uh, when I was in my home in Brazil, uh -huh. I I watched a movie and uh, and think in English. I put it, the subtitle in Portuguese. So mm. here we don't have Portuguese. No. <laughs> and uh, just English. When I put it, I can't I can't look it and I can't understand what's happening in a movie or TV show or anything I'm looking. I can't understand. The last week, my host dad he he asked me. You can understand what you see on TV? I say, yes, I can understand. I, I put the subtitles, but I can't understand what's happened. Just make sure. It's depend what we're watching. So I'm here, I'm take care of kids, and it's so helpful because it, it's a little boy with three ears, and he starts learning some things, mm -hmm. learning new words, uh, phrases, sentences, and uh, I'm learning together. Yeah. <laughs> so it's good. This is fantastic. This is mm -hmm. really, yeah, that's very nice. Do you have any plans for the weekends? The weekends? I don't know. We have one zoo here, close here. Uh -huh. And uh, in the end of the year, we have uh, like a show. So a light shows. You see many mm -hmm. lights, decoration about Christmas. It's yeah. different. You can walk and it's a long place there, so you can walk, walk, walk. Maybe I can go to the sea again uh -huh. because we have different place to go there. We have free, free, free programs. Yes. Yes, free. Um, como eu posso falar? Uh, atividades ao ar livre, atividades livres, uh, outdoor, grátis. Outdoor activities, mm. outdoor activities and things like mm -hmm. that, yeah. Concerts, mm -hmm. right? Free concerts and uh, all mm -hmm. kinds of events. I bought one course last, last Saturday. I saw one one show with, with some arms band, American arms band, with some chorus, a kid's oh. chorus. Nice. Orca was beautiful. Yeah. With Tan, Tan, Papai Noel, San Nicolas. Oh, San, that's Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus? Santa Claus. Santa Claus, yes. Yeah, that's so <laughs> it cool. It was very good. It looked like a movie. It's the same. <laughs> yeah. Do you see that? 
It's beautiful. Uh -huh. So is it snowing mm -hmm. there? It's snowing, right? Uh, just mm -hmm. one day, two weeks ago, it's snowing. But the 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 hard snow is coming. Oh, in January. Um, so, Late um, no, this month, no. this month is coming. Okay. I think the next few week or the another week is coming. Ah, okay. Are you prepared? Mm hmm I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I I am a Lagoana, so it's hot all the time. <laughs> and uh, when the first time I saw the snow, I said, Oh, it's snowing! <laughs> I'm watching on the window. Oh, it's snowing! I can't it. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yes. So yeah. it looks like a dream. I need to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for helping me. Oh. And uh, I really love your your classroom. It's amazing. It's amazing, really amazing. Oh, you're an amazing student too. Thank you, Lily. You're great. <laughs> you're doing a great job. Yeah. So, so this is the point. Uh, I think the, the lesson here, Lily always, she, she was fearless. I think that this is the, you, you are fearless, right? So um, I think this is, this conversation will be shared, will be saved, right? It will be recorded, mm -hmm. okay? It's because people are asking here they have to leave. Yeah, we're almost at, at the end. But I, I think this is the lesson, Lily, because you're you, you are not afraid of making mistakes. You you know mm -hmm. it's part of like Josie, you know it's part of the learning process to make mistakes, right? Uh, you practice a lot, you followed what the teachers told you <laughs> to do. <laughs> this is important too. You found a way to make things happen. Uh, because you really, really want it. Uh, one, uh, one thing that I read somewhere, I like to say, the wish to learn and to speak English has to be bigger than your fear of speaking, right? Mm -hmm. Then it has to be bigger yeah. than your shyness. Yeah. Right? No, it's normal. You feel shy or you feel fear. It's totally normal. But yeah. you need to believe in what you want. Yeah. So you can do it. Everyone can do it. Emotion. It's not the monster. <laughs> no, it's it's, not. You can do it. It is not difficult. Yeah. You just need to practice and you need to try. If yeah. you say something wrong, the pronouns or anything, you can try again. Many times you can listen to the pronouns many times and you can, you can understand and you put it in your mind. When you see, you yeah. remember. Yeah, to have um, a good sense of humor, I'll, I think it helps to, right, when we make a mistake, we can have two reactions, to recoil and to feel bad and to beat yourself up, to criticize yourself, mm -hmm. or you can laugh, you can mm -hmm. laugh at your mistakes, it can be yeah. fun, it can be something fun, mm -hmm. right, yeah. it can be, uh, I do this Every all the time. time, I'm left. Yeah, so when yes. I say something I wrong, secret. <laughs> <laughs> you need to laugh about this because yeah. it, it's not a problem. It's not a, a, a test, and yes. you need to do if you wrong. You you fire it. No, you need to try yeah. because you see when the the American or someone I talk no. <laughs> when American try speaking Portuguese, you need to see what what's working like this. Is he is difficult and uh, he tries when you see hard hard hard. Mm -hmm. You yeah. see that so he uh, American people try talking in Portuguese. You see how it's difficult and you yeah. see how he's feeling about this. So it's the same. But yeah. I think. English is more easy than than Portuguese. Yeah, definitely. It is. It is difficult mm -hmm. to teach Portuguese. Very hard. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I think laughing, uh, people are asking here how to speak. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Laugh at here. Né? I don't know if people understand the pronunciation. But laugh mm -hmm. at that. Lily, I think that's it. We have a few seconds remaining here, 20 seconds remaining. So it was very uh -huh. nice to, to, be, to talk to you today. I was curious to know how things, I'm very happy 
to see that things are going great with you. Mm -hmm. I wish you all the best, all the luck. Okay? I love talking to you. And I love you too. You helped me so much. So, I did tell if 